Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. Taking a look at Cobalt Press today. By the way, there was a humble bundle up, Cobalt Press and others, uh, for 5e compatible material, OSR material. It, the shortened link here is tankars-tavern.games slash humble cobalt. Any, uh, if you make a purchase there, I think it's a uh, 52 uh, electronic PDFs and such for uh, 25 bucks. That's that's the that's the buy-in for all. You can you can you can snag for as little as a buck. You get obviously far less, but uh, a portion of whatever you spend will come back to help the tavern. So, what are we looking at here? We are looking at Project Black Flag update. Sticking to our principles. And this for something that I had missed. This came out last week, January 18th, a week ago. And I already originally saw the update, didn't think much of it, glanced at it. It showed up in my email today. And then I said, oh, I don't think anybody's really covered this part. I think it's gone under the radar, but it's a, let's see. We want to start by thanking, saying thank you for all the outpouring of love and support this last week. Project Black Flag is sailing new waters towards its new destination, and we aim to continue to update you weekly. I guess we'll have another update coming today. Um, and they talk about the, that new art. That looks pretty cool. What exactly is Project Black Flag? It's the code name for an upcoming Cobalt Press new core fantasy RPG system. Available to any publisher or creator who accepts the terms of the soon-to-be-released Open RPG Creative License, ORC. This new open, perpetual, and irrevocable Open RPG Creative License was announced on January 12th and will be shared with the community soon. Cobalt Press, this is interesting, expects to support both print and digital formats for Project Black Flag's final release, and Deep Magic, both volumes will be forward compatible with the Project Black Flag rule system. Well, you need to know what's going to Project Black Flag will be a clone. It'll be 5.1 whatever, 5.2. Uh, it's, it's going to be it's going to be basically the Pathfinder for 5e. What about the open part? Black, Project Black Flag will support open RPG content open the, under the open RPG creative license usable by anyone. Open content will be released after playtests conclude. When are the playtests coming? First phase, February 2023. They give you a link. I signed up. Am I a 5e player? No. Did I playtest 5e? Yes. Would I be happy to playtest Black Flag? Yes. More phases of the Black Flag playtesting will roll out over the next few months as we build to a Kickstarter. Your review and comments will help shape the game's final form. How do I play test in person? They're looking for volunteer D uh, GMs to uh, GM at, at Gen Con. Who is working on it? Now, this is the part that got me very interested because Celeste Conowich, our senior game designer, is the lead on game design for this new fantasy RPG. She has been working on Project Black Flag behind the scenes since the summer of 2022. All right, so... Um, assuming, assuming that the changes at WOTC didn't happen until November, right? When uh, there's the D and D uh, project manager had to had to had to leave, whether he was forced out or otherwise is inconsequential. Um, that means that there was talk going back to the summer about a closing of the OGL 1.0. Because Wolfgang, Wolfgang Bauer, is or was very connected to people at Wizards of the Coast. So if anyone would have had the inkling, he would have. This was apparently a very quiet start to uh, the design process. And uh, talking to my sources, it was maybe not a full delve, but it was certainly, holy shit, um, we need an alternate just in case. We need to get the ball rolling. So, interesting. How can I support Project Black Flag? All right. Now, we're going to go on 
to what you will read when you get to the uh, sign up page for the playtest. Again, this is it's, it's an interesting statement from Cobalt Press. I think we've seen it before. As Dungeons and Dragons moves towards the 50th anniversary of the game, foundational changes are afoot in the tabletop game arena. While we wait to see exactly what shape the open game license might take in this new era, Cobalt Press is also moving forward with some clear eyed work on a new core fantasy tabletop rule set. Available, open, and key phrase here subscription free. So, this is not the first time I've seen that come from Cobalt Press in regards to Project Black Flag. Now, I know people are going, oh, they're not going to charge a $30 subscription to play. I'm not saying they are. I'm not saying Wizards of the Coast is going to be that greedy and, and, and that, and that uh, penny-wise and pound foolish. However, they do want to transition. And finally, folks that were stubborn about it, they're like, no, d and is, is it pen and paper? It's a tabletop game. No. No, they see the money in it to be a game played virtually. They see it as an electronic game. That's where the money is. That's what they're betting on. There's also a good article on N-World uh, about how, and I'll include a link for that one, about how the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, uh, investing group earlier this year that was trying to spin off uh, Wizards of the Coast, saying that basically it was like one of those heavily taxed states that pays more to the federal government, but then it gets back. Well, you know what? They were paying more into Hasbro than they were they were reaping. And he wanted it spun off and wanted them to go deeper into electronic gaming. Well, what are they doing? What are they doing? Same thing. So, folks, I'll give you the links. They'll be in the show notes. Um, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, myself, Bad Mike, we have a live stream at 8 p.m. Join us because we are giving away $250 in drive through RP, well, the drive through RPG. Yes, gift certificates, because we've hit well over 2,500 subscribers. I thank all the new subscribers. If you want a chance, you got to log in, probably around, we're going to be doing it from 8, we're usually on from 8 to 10, somewhere around 9 o'clock, we're going to do the giveaway, and the only thing you got to do is comment. Comment shortly before we do the giveaway. That way, uh, StreamYard will understand, hey, all right, we got something going here. Oh, you commented, and it'll randomly determine who gets it. And I believe what we're going to do is one 100 gift certificate and three $50 ones. And I believe Bad Mike also has something from the North Texas warehouse. So that should be fun, too. That's tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, uh, I guess 5 Pacific or something like that. Um as always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well, and I will hopefully see you all tonight. Laters.